Hi guys, this is Sandy. This is just a quick check-in to show you what I'm working on. I'm trying to finish these Hardy Boys books. This is the last one I'm going to do. And I've got the signatures sewn in and I'm starting to sew, uh, glue in pockets and things. I've showed you some stuff that I've done. So I'm um, just going through and just wherever there's a place for a pocket, I'm putting it in or tuck. And I came to this page and it reminded me of these things I'd made the other day. So I wanted to show you real quick before I glued it in. If I can get my book to cooperate here. I've got piles beyond piles around me. But anyway, um, it all started with this strip of paper. And I thought, that's kind of interesting. Why don't I um, do some, put some stuff on it? So I started just doing different things. Just where whatever I could grab that was around me. And I thought, that's pretty cool. I like all those things on it. And I'm going to just put it as a, like a... Um, border on my page. Just glue it down. It's not going to be a tuck or anything like that. So I just thought I would show it to you close up. Things that I've cut from books mainly, like we have book pages all the time. So I've gone through and if it had like chapter two, chapter one, whatever, I just cut it out with some uh, little, uh, little bitty pink and shears type uh, decorative scissors. And that right there is like, um, you know, the first, the paragraph, the first line, the first word, the first letter of a new chapter. Sometimes they'll do it in a large letter, and that was a letter I, so that was kind of interesting. I cut it out, stamped a, a butterfly. I had something. This is a piece of um, a label from some DMC. It wasn't embroidery floss. It's more like um, yarn, and I'm pretty sure that's from some blue that I got in, uh, actually I got it in Stratford on Avon in England many, many years ago at a craft store there and I just finally decided I'm gonna use this yarn. So that was for the label from it. This is a little teapot that I got from somewhere, magazine or a book or something, a little punch out of a butterfly, some music, another stamp of a bee. This is from uh, a magazine. This is Clayton Museum of Ancient History. It's kind of like their little logo, so that was fun. Project Hope, and it's the ship. So anyway, that was from probably Reader's Digest book. So anyway, I just had these little bits and pieces around me, and I just glued them on there. I thought that makes a really cool border for your page so i started doing another one because you know i was thinking one per signature so same sort of stuff just little bits and pieces that i had collected and punched out and stamped and just got a little you know it's a kind of a little neat little i don't even know what you would call that design uh, from a magazine this clock is from a magazine that's a little um, packet of flower seeds or something so just some little bits and pieces that you just see anywhere and everywhere and um, just glue them onto a piece of paper and it makes a cute little border for your page. So anyway, that's what I'm getting ready to glue in this book. Just thought I would show you these real quick before I glue them. And um, that's about it for now. So I will uh, let you know how these are going. I'll see you later, bye. Hi guys, this is Cindy and I'm gonna to attempt to show you how to do a post and hair tie closure. Someone had asked me in a comment, so um, I tried on the other journal, but I can't remember what went wrong, so that means I probably am not prepared for what will go wrong this time. But I decided if something goes wrong, I will just do it on a upcoming journal. I won't wait till it's finished. I'll just keep trying until I get it done. So anyway, what you start with are the post. There's the post. And then the, um, what I call like the doorknobs. It's like a little doorknob. It's, uh, I got them from Tim Holtz. Get them at Hobby Lobby, I think. Um, maybe Hobby Lobby has, or some other brand makes them. Cause it seems like I've seen them, but I haven't bought those yet because I still have a few of these. So I don't know, but definitely Tim Holtz makes these. So I'm looking to see what colors I have. There's basically a reddish color, a golden color, which I don't think I have any more left, and that silver color. And these uh, eyelets, I don't think, I don't know if they're Tim Holtz or not, they don't quite match. Um, the Tim Holtz are a little brighter, but they work pretty good. So, I mean, there's the silver one versus that silver. I don't know if you can see all that or not, sorry. Silver the uh, reddish color and then like this is all I have. I have eyelets of gold. I don't have a post that's gold um, and what I call the doorknob. Don't have that in gold, but they do make them in gold. I'm just out. So I think I'm going to do this silver color. 
So I'm just collecting it here in this jar lid. I just keep mine all in a little jar on my shelf. So looks like it's about time to buy some more. I'll maybe have one or two more. I use these on just about every journal. I just like them. I don't know why. But anyway, okay, so make sure you have your supplies, your posts, and your what I call the doorknob. I'm sure it's got an official name, and then some sort of eyelet. Okay, now, here's my book, and I keep put mine in the center, right? So how do you figure the signer? center? Well, of course, you can use a ruler, but it's always like half measures, like it's seven and a half, then you have to divide that in your head or whatever. To me, an easier way to do it is just get a piece of scrap paper, and you can use a pencil or not. You can just use your thumb and mark it. So there's the end of the book. So if I just fold this in, the ha in half, there's going to be my center point. So from the bottom to that fold, you can't really see it. Let me mark it with a pencil. So there was the end of my book. Marked it with my thumb, fold it in half. There's the center of my book. And I mark it on the book or just take some, you know, I'll say, oh, it's that board right there or something. So somewhere you just mark it on your book. And then you take, I have these. We are memory keepers, crocodile. I know there's turquoise colors and there's the pink ones. And then there's the big monstrosity that fits on a table that I think has all the different sizes. This is 3 16 and 1 8 and I'm not sure what the um, turquoise one sizes are. I've never had one of those. I just bought the pink one because, you know, it was pink. So anyway, I'm not sure what sizes, but I'm assuming they would work with the these um, closures. And if you look at that post, it's really tiny. I wouldn't even know what to say that is. Uh, maybe a 16 of an inch. Uh, of course, it could be even smaller. No, it's about a sixteenth of an inch, which works out perfect because I have three sixteenths. No, that's still too big. One eighth. My one eighth hole is what I usually use. Yeah, because the three eighth sixteenth is, um, you know, I'm doing this much too complicated. So forget all that. Just find something that punches a hole about the right size of that. It might be one of these. It might be um, your all. Something that will punch a hole. And um, if I can find my mark again. See how tiny that hole is? You can see it or not. <laughs> There's the white going through it. So it's just perfect for putting these little things in. And maybe it's a little too large. I don't know. But it works perfect for me. Except I got that upside down. So... It goes up from the bottom. So hopefully this isn't too complicated. You just find the center, punch a hole, put that up in there, and it just screws on there. And you could tighten it with a screwdriver if you want, because it's got a slot for one. But you know, I never have one handy, so just finger tightening is good. Good enough. So now you do the same thing on the back. Find your center, and I can find my mark on here. There it is this way and just kind of mark it these are fairly easy to mark because they make it indention and then lots of times you know you gotta look to see what you've got on here if, if you've forgotten to think about it where you're going to put that post which is me every time you might have a pocket or something here so you might have to adjust it a little bit or just poke a hole through your pocket and this time I use the other side of mine that's a little larger so three Sixteenths, and I don't know. I just got lucky that my um, crocodile works good for these um, eyelets and things. So, like I said, I don't know what the other size. If it's just, I'm pretty sure it's different sizes, but I'm not positive. So you just poke a hole and put the eyelet in, and then of course on your crocodile, it's got the thing that does the eyelets, and these things move around, and they mean something. I just don't know what. I've never taken the time to figure it out. I guess I could watch a video because these are different sizes. So I'm assuming it's for different size eyelets. But you know, I found one that works for me, so I just leave it there. I don't think about what it means as far as size. So just that little tooth that's sticking down, it goes inside the hole of the eyelet. You give it a good squeeze. And if you're lucky, it turns out pretty good. 
And then you take, now I'm remembering what went wrong last time. I couldn't get my um, hair tied thread through. So I struggled with it for a long time. Um, I get mine usually at Dollar Tree, which uh, sometimes they're too thick or whatever. So I may have gotten some of these at Walmart, but I have two sizes and these little ones are basically too small, but you can uh, combine two of them if you want. Just do a little slip knot and that combines two of them and makes it longer. And this way you could uh, expand it. You know, you've got it stretched from here to here. And then if your thingy gets really out of gator mouth, you can just keep adding these hair ties onto it and make it clasp, you know, way wider. So anyway, I think this one will fit pretty good. And I went with the silver and this is the gray. So hopefully I can get it through this hole because I do the same thing I just did. I slip it through and I do a slip knot. I mean, I just did a slip knot on those other two. So um, there it's poking through. It's just, you know, I have no fingernails left between all the book sale stuff a couple of days ago and just lugging suitcases and stuff. No fingernails left. Okay, so hopefully you saw that. Just a slip knot, just to tie it on. And if you want to use something besides a hair tie, you can use a piece of elastic or something and just tie it on there. And it just, you know, comes around the front and goes around that little doorknob and that's it. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Hopefully it stayed in frame. Basically, you're just buying these little devices from Tim Holtz at Hobby Lobby, poking a hoe, poking a hoe, and just insert them. So anyway, I hope that made sense. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.